under the bench here today, but I do have my blue suede shoes on. Yes, I went there. I'm just practicing all of my mum and dad jokes now, getting them out of my system so I don't torture my child. But this is an Elvis inspired snack or savory dessert. When I was last in New Orleans, I had a crepe with these ingredients. Today I'm going to make a bit of a twist on a quesadilla. So I've got some beautiful nitrate free bacon here. So I'm going to quickly cook that off. Now I don't want it too crispy because otherwise it's gonna be too hard to go into our wrap and we don't want it to be too hard or a battle to eat. This should be a very enjoyable treat. Now, if we were Elvis and we we're eating these every day, I would be slightly concerned. So this is a sometimes food, but you can make it the best possible for you by using nitrate-free bacon, organic bananas, organic or even better, homemade peanut butter. You can use some organic honey. So we'll cook that until it's starting to crisp but not crunchy. And then we'll come back and assemble our Elvis quesadillas. So I've cooked and drained my bacon, which is not fully crisp, but just enough to sort of get a nice caramelization. Now I'm going to cut up my bananas because I want to have everything ready so that we can assemble all at once and then pop it all into the pan. So you should be able to get about a banana per person into these quesadillas. Look, using that term pretty loosely, certainly don't want to offend the traditionalists. So if you are sort of craving that salty, sweet treat, this is something to have a bit of fun with. I really like to use bananas when they're still as firm as possible in terms of the goodness that they offer, but they also hold their shape. So if you're using a really overripe banana, you'd have an entirely different texture and it'd be definitely more of a, almost a puree texture. I still like to be able to see, see my banana in this particular recipe. So we've got all of our other ingredients ready. So I've got a, a gluten-free wrap here today, which means I can eat this at the end. So to get our best results, because we want to fold these, just heat them for about 20 seconds, either in a sandwich press or in the microwave. It's gonna make them a lot more pliable. So we've got our peanut butter. So I'm going to pop it in the top half, so in a semicircle. You can go a little heavier on the middle because it will ooze a little. I haven't cleaned out my fry pan. I've left that bacon fat in there. The outside of these will absorb that and I'll add just a little bit more butter so that they do cook quite evenly. So then we've got our, our banana. So depending on the size of your banana, you should be able to fit almost a whole banana on. You can certainly double layer the banana if you wish. And then some of our bacon. So we should be able to get about two pieces per quesadilla on there. Now we've got honey. So Elvis didn't always have the four ingredients on here from what I was, what I was learning about reading these. So if you don't want to have the bacon on there, you could obviously leave that off as well. So we're just gonna fold these over here. I'm gonna pop a knob of butter in our fry pan. So I just want to, I can sort of see a little bit inside them. So I just wanna see the peanut butter and the banana all sort of starting to collapse and get a little bit oozy. And then I'm gonna take them out, cut them up and we can eat them. So our Elvis quesadillas have had enough time in there. I'm just gonna slice them up, get them on our plate, and then we can eat. So this is a very simple, very satisfying treat. Now, how are we gonna, I might do that one like that. There's our Elvis quesadillas. Definitely good enough to share, but you might not want to. <laughs>